As a child, we obviously got wooden toys. I remember things like jigsaws for some reason and the old lorry and things like that. But I was brought up in the generation where plastic toys were just coming into real popularity. And I think it was at that time that I appreciated wooden toys a lot more. I totally enjoy what I do. It's so nice to come to work every day and not think, oh no, not work. When I took this shop over, we had five people working in this shop. It was amazingly busy. But I've only got to go to the door of the shop now and see the difference in people walking along the street. The fact that, that I'm closing a shop that I've been here for 30 years is, you know, I know in the back of my mind, I know I'm going to miss it. I think I'm getting to the age now, retirement age, but I could never, ever retire. I just love what I do. I really have a passion for wooden toys. So as long as I can physically carry on, then I think I will be driven by that passion. We've had the shop for 30 years. We took over from my father. The thing I remember most about him is the fact that he had this great patience. He would teach me something and then if you went wrong, he would say, start again. My father certainly taught me an awful lot. That's the only piece of fretwork I've got of his left. And people say to me, you want to do it up? And I thought, no, leave it as it is, exactly. It's one of the unfortunate things in life, I think, and that is that you tend to idolise people after they've died and you can't tell them how much they've taught you. I wish he was here to see what I've done with what he started. I would say to anybody, if you've got parents and you can actually say to them something that they've, they've taught you, that you can say thank you to them for doing that, yeah, do it, because one day you won't be able to.